Hey everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampitCrew.com. I'm an independent stamp up demonstrator. Thanks so much for joining me for another video today. Um, I'm super excited to share some new products with you. Um, today, our card is going to be made using the Cheerful Daisy stamp set. Now it has a die, that, a die set that comes with it. And we're not using the dies today. We're just using the stamp set. And then we're using some of this gorgeous, fresh as a daisy designer paper. Love this stuff. Okay, let us get started. We are also using one of our new in colors. Love this one, it's called Lemon Lolly. So we're using that as our card base. Then we have a layer of the daisy designer paper. I just, I really like this and having that layer of bright lemon behind kind of that darker background really makes this pop. Then I have a die cut piece from our Scallop Contours dies. This garden green piece is what we are going to stamp on. And then we're gonna put a sentiment on this little strip of white. So let's just kind of set that aside for a minute and we'll put that together. Um, after we stamp. So we're going, because this is dark, we're going to do a little heat embossing. So first step is to use your embossing buddy. Cover your paper or your cardstock with that so our powder only sticks where we want it to. Then I'm using Versamark and I'm using this big solid daisy image. So I'm going to stamp this near the top. All right. Oh. I'm not sure I got enough. Uh, it might be okay. I'm not sure I got enough ink up there at the top. Let's see. Maybe I didn't press all the way up there. It's not quite filled in, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to brush that off, brush all my powder back off, and flip it over, and let's give that another try. We're going to press a little harder on the top. There we go, we make sure we get good good contact with the paper. And I didn't use my embossing buddy, so let's hope, <laughs> let's hope our powder uh, only sticks where we want it to. We've got a little bit here. Let me see if I have a, a brush. I think I always try to keep a brush here with my embossing supply so we can brush off any extra that we don't want. Okay, perfect. All right, let's heat this, and then we have another step we're gonna add to this. All right. It always takes just a minute for our heat, heat tools to heat up here. There it goes. It's always just so satisfying to watch heat embossing because you can see it happen, uh, go from like grainy to shiny, I love that. Okay, once that's cooled just for a second, we're going to rub the whole thing with the embossing buddy again, assuming we did that the first time. And then we're going to take the center of our daisy and we're going to stamp it with Versamark again. Let's see kind of an oblong center. Okay, and this time I'm going to use heat and stick powder, which almost looks like it's white, but it's a little bit different. So that's heat and stick, and I'll show you the difference. White is, is uh, well, they're pretty close. White's a little different color, but this one is going to heat clear. So let's, and it goes very quickly once you heat your, your tool is heated up here. So with heat and, stick, heat and stick powder, as soon as it melts, you want to stop the heat because if you overheat it, it will no longer be sticky. All right, so I'm going to take some gold leafing. Let's cover that up. And we're going to just use a little gold leafing and press it into the center of our daisy. It's gonna make the middle 
just super bright and shiny. Isn't that great? I love that. And then what I like to do is if you want, you can fold your paper over that and then just give it a little bit of a, a pressing with your bone folder. And that kind of helps it, it kind of seal and stick to the paper and not be like furry looking. And um, sometimes you can use the, the gold leafing and it'll kind of pop up a little bit and stick up and be, I call it furry looking. And this will, will solve that and press it down, make it nice and shiny. Okay, so we're going to take our garden green and we have this little stem. So we're gonna stamp our stem on our daisy just like that and then we have some leaves with the daisy leaves the rounder part is more on the outside so i'm just going to stamp two and then let's stamp our sentiment while we're at it so this one says wishing you the brightest birthday which i think is super sweet we're going to stamp this right in the middle of our piece of basic white all right, that is all the stamp I'm stamping I'm gonna, going to do on there. So let's get this put together. Oh man, I forgot I was out of my seal adhesive. We're gonna have to go with our, our liquid glue here. Okay, so I'm just adhering this to the center of our, of this great scallop square rectangle and I will put a list of measurements and supplies so that you can see you can you can cut your own and make one of these okay get that designer paper on there that is just so pretty all right now you can glue this down or you can pop it up whatever you want to do I think I'm going to use some dimensionals on here because why not? Let's see, I think I've flipped the paper upside down on that one. No, it just had, it just came off. All right. This is kind of long, so I'm gonna put one on this side. So on my next video, we're using some more, some of our new in colors. So I'm super excited to show you uh, that one. Okay, so for this, we're just gonna flag the ends, just like that. Okay, we'll pop this up as well. I'm going to put this right across under the stem. And then we have a piece of our gold trim. Now this ribbon is in a pack with silver, so you get a roll of silver and a roll, roll of gold ribbon. And this is in uh, one of our online exclusives. So this is not in the catalog, but you can get it online. But this, I just love gold and silver ribbon. And I use the, um, the trim a lot. And this is just a little bit thicker, so it has a little more weight to it. But since we have our gold leafing right here in the center of our flower, having that gold ribbon just makes them both pop and it's super, super pretty and cheerful. So I hope you enjoyed that project today. Super quick and easy. Um, I know, who's... <laughs> Someone was saying that I kept saying it was super cute. I'm going to say it's really cute today. <laughs> no super cute. All right. Thanks so much. And um, please cl click subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos. And um, on Saturday morning, I'll have another video using some of our uh, new in colors. We're going to do a masculine card. So make sure to check back then. And I will see you soon. All right. Bye, everyone.